Alright baby, so welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this emerald green look. I guess that's what you want, if that's what you want to call it. It's sexy though, hey. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is start off with the brows. This is from Ruby Kiss. It's, it's an eyebrow pencil in dark brown. We're going to line our brows underneath the bottom and fill them in. I've been struggling with my brows lately. Don't ask me why, sis. Don't ask me why. I do not know. But I've been struggling. Now we're going to take a spoolie and blend out those harsh lines. Like they say, no more locked doors. No more harsh lines. No more harsh lines. Alright, so then we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution foundation in 10.5 and we're going to take that on the back of our hand and take a flat brush. I got this brush from eBay and we're going to take that and clean up underneath our eyebrows underneath the bottom. And maybe I'll do um, a video on how to flatten out your brush and it's good for cleaning up underneath your eyebrows as well as carving out your crease. Alright, so then for the top, we're going to take the Lancome Foundation. This is in 450 Suede In. And we're going to take that same brush that we use to clean up underneath the brows. And now we're going to clean up the top of our brows. And I've really been digging this foundation. Like, it matches my skin perfectly. So this is the Luxie 110 brush. I think I got this from Ipsy. I'm going to use that and buff out under the brows and also on top of those brows. Buff, buff. Buff, buff, gas. Buff, 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 gas. Buff, buff, gas. Buff, buff, buff. Buff it out. 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 All right. So let's get into these eyes. Jack and Hill palette by Morphe. What color are we going to go into? Hunts. Right there, yep. Hunts. Go into Hunts and we're going to pack that color in all on our crease. Move it around, move it around, move it around. I love this palette. I think I love pretty much all of the Morphe palettes for the most part, but I've kind of been asleep lately. I haven't been um, going and getting the new ones. So I'm going to do that to the same thing to the other eye. And then we're going to move into Cream Sickle and put that in our, as a transition color. And pack that right on the outer, I guess you could say edge, on top of the top of Hunt's. If that's how you say it. I don't know if that's confusing, but you see what I'm doing? Just pack it there so that you can kind of blend out that harsh line. That's that's our goal. No harsh lines. No harsh lines. And I struggle because I have that bone right there on my eye. So then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M330 brush. And I'm going to take that, and it's clean. I'm going to take that on... Um, Tap a little bit into cream sickle and blend out those harsh lines. Or try my best to. I'm not perfect, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a tailor made Jane. Yes. All right. So now we're gonna go into Jax and we're gonna put that in our crease to kind of give us some depth, depth, and deepen that crease up. Baby, what lace? Can we just say that? Like, what lace? This wig is so bomb. I love it. The door is creaking because the cat is sneaking in the room. But let's just pack that in. And then we're going to go in and carve out our crease, honey, yas. This is the Makeup Revolution. We're using a lot of Makeup Revolution today, but it's okay because it's affordable. 
This is a C9, and we're going to use that same old brush that we've been using to carve out that crease. Look up. It ain't working, sis. Just, just move on. So we're going to go ahead and go in and carve out that crease, honey, y'all. Both eyes, of course, and then I went back in with that Luxie 110 brush to buff out those edges, buff out that concealer, pack it down, because when you don't, I don't know if you guys noticed, but your um, eyeshadow, whatever you put on top of it, it will crack like concrete. Alright, so let's get into this. I'm so excited about these arts and craft pigments from the crayon case. I love them. I've been using them, and they are so bomb. So I'm going to go into um, deal with it. It's like a green. Well, it is a green. I'm taking that. I don't even know what brush that is. It's a Morphe brush, but it's flat. I used to use that to carve out my crease, I believe. But um, we moved on to bigger and better things. So we're going to pack that color on, tap it on. I'm going to do the same thing for both eyes, but they're really easy to work with, and I didn't even, I didn't even wet these brushes. I just went in with a dry brush, and that's what it looks like. Yes, we see you. Mm -hmm. So what I did off of camera, I um, went in with Hunts and Jacks, and I put that on the outer corner of my eye and blended that in to deal with it. And now I'm going in with that same flat brush that we've been using for everything, and we're just cleaning up that mess up underneath the eye so it doesn't blend and it doesn't go into our foundation. And then I'm going to take that Luxie brush and blend out those edges. No harsh lines, remember? Yep. So I have not been a... Um, brush type of girl when blending out my foundation but I love this um elf ultimate blending brush to put on my foundation and I don't get any streaks or anything like that I love it I'm probably gonna go buy me some more so I'm using the Lancome foundation that we used earlier and I'm also using the makeup revolution foundation in 10.5 the same stuff and then we're gonna go in and set our um our concealer, this is a Maybelline Fit Me in Medium Deep. These are bomb too. Like, all of these are pretty much affordable products, except for the Lancome. I think that's probably the most. The Lancome and the pigments are, like, the two most expensive things. So, this is the Black Radiance True Complexion um, Contour Kit in Medium medium to Dark. And we're just going to go back and add in our Melanin Honey because we don't want it to go away. Blend that in. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. eyeliner and we're going to line those eyes, give us a nice little wing so we can be sexy, sexy, sexy. We need a, a diabetic sugar daddy, baby. One that don't want no sugar because we not giving away no sugar. I need me one. If you know I can find one, let me know. Please. Diabetic sugar daddy me, please.
Wing it, girl, wing it. All right, so in our inner tear duct, we're going to be putting sunburn. It's a pigment as well from the arts and crafts. There's such a wide a color range. Look at this. Look at that. It's, these colors are gorgeous, and they swatch. Like, no, yes, faint. Yes, girl. Okay, and then for the lips, I use the Wet n Wild Mink Brown, but we're going to add some blush. This is Pop of Poppy from Morphe. We're going to go in with this middle color, that orange in the middle. I don't know the name. And then we're going to go in and highlight, which Peach Kiss. This is Peach. Like, I love this highlighter. I haven't used it in a while. I've been neglecting it, but don't sleep on it. Set our face with All Star from ColourPop. I don't think this is a matte spray. I think it, it gives your, it's like a dewy type of finish. And I have oily skin, so it's like hit or miss some days. Look at that highlighter. Look. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and add that on our cheeks. And listen, I barely tapped into this highlighter. Look at that blinding i hope you got your sunglasses on yes get excited girl and then go ahead and put that mink brown on our lips it looks orange but it's a pretty pretty color it goes well with hunts and jacks that we have in our um inner inner our inner eye our crease whatever we want to call it I can't talk today. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Yeah, I love this wig. And maybe I'll put the... I did a review on this hair. But I cut it. It was long back then, but I cut it into a bob. So I'll probably put it on my end card so you guys can see. So for lashes, I got these lashes from Amazon. They are in A11. And I'll probably put the link in the description box. But they're gorgeous. But this is the final look, you guys. I hope you like it. If you want more of these videos, um, just like, comment, and subscribe, honey. Yes. See you guys next time. Bye.